everybody. I just wanted to give you some reviews on things I've used, things I love, things I hate, um, empties, and things that are still full. Um, it might be a two-part season because I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. But I'm going to start with the Sol de Janeiro brand. The Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, the Brazilian Kiss Crush Crush Spray. Um, I have the lotion. This stuff smells amazing. It smells like, um, I don't even know. It's supposed to be pistachio and caramel. I do smell the caramel and a little bit of the nut. Um, it just smells good. It leaves your skin feeling so soft after. And then when you put the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream on after, your skin is so soft. Um, as for the Brazilian Crush Spray, you can use it on your body or in your hair. It's a pretty good size bottle and they do have deals where you can get like two or three things all together. Um, and that's the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream Spray. It's just amazing. I also wanted to try their shampoo and conditioner. The Brazilian and um, conditioner and shampoo rather. This I was not really a fan of. I don't feel like it did anything extra to my hair. It smelled great, it lasted. Um, even after drying it and the next day, my hair smelled amazing. But for the price, mm, I don't think I would spend that much money just to smell pretty because I got the spray and the bum bum cream. I don't feel it made my hair extra hydrating. I don't feel it made my hair bad, but I feel like over the counters would do the same as these did for me and my hair type. Remember, everybody's got different types of hair. This might work better on thinner hair. I'll clean that, honey. Just give me one second. Um, so, mm, no, I would never get that again. Um, for a purple shampoo and conditioner, people that have a little bit of highlights going on once in a while, you need a good purple shampoo and conditioner. And this is the 11. This is Keep My Color Blonde Shampoo. It's 11 Australia. This stuff is amazing. Um, it, the shampoo will make your hair a little bit hay-like when you're using it in the shower, but it, there's, it's got a toner in it. So of course, that's what it's gonna do. Give me one second, baby. Um, that's when you use the seal conditioner to seal in the color and add the moisturization. Um, again, it, it is purple smells really good and it does leave my hair very hydrated and it really makes my tones blonder and less brassy so I do love this however these are almost empty I did not repurchase I wanted to try um, the Unite brand of the toner it's a daily toner and conditioner and as I mentioned before the Unite um, leave-in conditioner is just amazing I don't think I can ever live without this this is like I don't know day four day four maybe and my hair still it's got shine I mean tonight will be a night I wash it but I like it it's nice and it smells pretty too as far as um, body washes the Nave Nave Native I can't read Native brand um, they sell it at Target it's pretty affordable it's like six dollars this one is lavender rose but they have other scents smells like real lavender not fake lavender I do not smell the rose in here um, it just Mommy. It smells really pretty yes baby there's here. no there's not that's an ant cover it with sand <laughs> this stuff is great they have shampoo conditioner and deodorant it's all natural I believe um, it's simple they have like six or seven ingredients on the back it's sulfate free and paraben free Good, 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 good. I would definitely repurchase that. Probably in the same scent, too. Um, we also have skin products, Saint Tropez. Now, Saint Tropez makes a wonderful self tanner. I love it, but I love Loving Tan better. I didn't bring any of that out here, but the Loving Tan Endure Tanning is my favorite. Saint Tropez is my second favorite. This is just a gradual in shower tanner. So, all you do is take a shower, soap up. Um, exfoliate all that shut your shower off put this on time it for three to five minutes and then take what rinse off um, the smell is slight it's, it's got that little bit of a fake smell but not as bad 
um, once you rinse it off, you pat dry. I, I personally don't put any lotions or anything on my skin after because I don't want to ruin the effects of it. And if you use it every day, you're building up a gradual tan so it doesn't look fake. It's not too dark all at once. So for those fair skin girls, they do have it in medium and, um, and light. I don't believe they have a dark yet though. And it's affordable. Good girl. Then we have the Briogeo um, Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Cap Mask. This is great, just to use once in a while to hydrate your hair. The bottom part is a conditioner that you put in your hair, and then you put the mask over it. You leave it on, I don't know, I leave it on sometimes for 30 minutes, and then rinse it, dry it, your hair is good to go. It seals it, seals the cuticles. Another good deep conditioning is called Crybaby. Um, these are funny. There's a little saying on them um, when your deep conditioning says repairing, but you're still broken on the inside. It's really cute. It's a five-in-one deep conditioner. Um, it repairs, strengthens, tames, frizz conditions, and adds shine. I usually leave this on my hair for about three to five minutes while I'm just shaving and everything else in the shower. It's really good. It's junk-free, so there's no paraben, sulfates, and all that. No artificial colors, no alcohol, no um, phylates. It's gluten-free, um, and you only need half at a time. So it's good. Another one that I've used is by Hask. It's the Monet Coconut Oil. I use half at a time. I don't love this one. Oh, very good. Put it in the sitting box. See how many you could find and put them in your, in your tape pail. This I don't love. I used it twice already, and I don't hate it. It smells good. It smells like coconut. It smells like the beach. It really smells like the beach, but honestly, mm, I wouldn't rebuy it. I, I don't love it that much. Um, this came in one of my beauty bags. It's called the Wonder Balm Percy and Reed Hair. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. You um, use it when your hair is towel dried and it takes away the frizzies. Um, and it's 72 hours, supposedly, will last through humidity. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. What'd you find? More rocks? Put them in the basket. Let's count how many we can get. It smells good. It doesn't smell anything different. It smells good. It doesn't have like a specific smell to it. It smells like clean soap, to be honest with you. Um, this Miracle Leave-In Balm preps and primes your hair in readiness for all styling products and techniques. It makes your regular styling products work wonders. It protects from frizz and humidity for up to 72 hours. Just imagine three days of frizz-free hair. That's what they claim. I have used it. I do like it. It was in. It was a freebie. So I'm gonna end this video here and do a part two because I don't know how long Mommy. this will handle, and my little one needs me. Mommy. She comes first. Talk to you guys later.